If you become class president, you get to make any rule for the class that you want, and I can't say anything about it. So which one of you wants to be the class president? Ooh, I want to be class president. Junior, do not take this erection from me. I want to be class president. Well, I want to be class president. Well, you're too stupid to be class president. Well, you're too dorky to be class president. I want to be hey, class president. Hey, 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 hey! Hush! I want to be class president. Well, you can't be class president because I want to be class president. I want to be class president. I want to be class president. Settle down, settle down, class. There can only be one class president. That's why we're having erection, okay? It's going to be a long, hard process for my erection. So I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose two people to have erection. It's going to be uh, Cody and Jeffy. You guys come up to the class and be part of my erection and tell the class why they should vote for you as class president. All right, I'm gonna go first. All right, prepare to lose. All right, if you guys elect me as class president, then there will be no more homework ever again. Homework will be illegal. No, 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 I actually think we should have homework because we might forget the stuff we learned at school and we have to keep learning because learning is power. Who's with me? Junior, don't throw paper balls at me. All right, change your plans. If I'm elected class president, then all the homework that we get will go to this guy because he likes it so much. <laughs> How about if I'm elected class president, we're gonna have healthier school lunches, like celery, so that means no more pizza. Junior, stop throwing things! Well, if I'm elected class president, then every day will be pizza day. There will be pizza parties every single day. Your desk will be made out of pizza. You will even be made out of pizza. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, how about this, how about this? If I'm elected class president, uh, you don't have to wear clothes to school anymore. So, so like, you, you know how long it takes to get dressed in the morning? Well, well you, you don't have to do that. You, you can just come naked. And, and no girls allowed. Well, if I'm elected class president, you won't even have to come to school anymore! Yeah. Yeah. And then you won't be president of anything. Oh, okay, 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 how about this? Uh, uh, if, you, if you fail a test, you can retake it! How about, how about that? Well, if I'm elected class president, you won't even have tests anymore! Oh, okay. but, but you can't just do that. All right, class, I've heard enough. So who do you guys want to be the class president? So who wants Jeffy for president? Jeffy! 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 Who wants Cody for president? Yeah! Oh, you suck! All right, class, we have a winner! Jeffy has won the erection, and he is now your class president. Uh -huh. Yay! <laughs> Mario, how do you think Jeffy's stay at school is going? It must be going pretty good. I mean, we haven't gotten a call from his teacher saying he's suspended for anything, like pooping his pants or biting another student. <laughs> hey, Jeffy, how was your day at school? Daddy, you can't call me Jeff anymore. You have to call me Mr. Class President. Jeffy, you got class president? I sure did, Mommy. All the kids in class said I was the smartest kid, and now I'm the class president. This, this must be something like a pity award or like a Make-A-Wish Foundation thing. Mario. Yo. Well, look, why would they vote Jeffy class president? Like, wh what are you even going to do for the class? Well, dang, the first thing I did was cancel school. So now I never have to go to school ever, ever again. Jeffy, you can't make those rules. You can't just cancel school. Yes, I can, because I'm the class president. No, Jeffy, the only way you could cancel school is if you were the real president. Well, how do I get to be the real president? You can't. You can't because you're a kid and you're just too stupid to be the president. Hey, Mario, speaking of the president, isn't it election day today? Oh, it is. Let's turn on the news and see how it's going. <sighs> Breaking news, UK! The President of the United States has something to say before the election tonight. Let's go to that. When I, Donald J. Trump, 
is re-elected president again. We do not want to share the moon with anyone ever again, okay? So what I will do when I'm re-elected is I will hire Space Force to build a wall, a huge wall, around the moon. So then it will be our moon and all the other countries will pay for that wall. A wall around the moon? Daddy, can I do stupid stuff like that? No, Jeffy, you can only do stupid stuff like that if you're the president. Well, I want to be president. Jeffy, you'll never be president, ever. Mario, Jeffy can do anything he sets his mind to. Thanks, Mommy. Well, he'll never be president. He cannot be president. He can set his mind to as much as he wants, but he'll never be president. Who's the door? Hold on. Uh, hello? Hey, man. Uh, hey, I, I, I got a really huge problem, and I, I need your help. What, what is it? Well, hey, can I come inside? Because it's, like, November, and it's freezing out here, and I'm just wearing short sleeves and no pants. Uh, yeah, sure, come on inside. Okay. All right, so what's the problem? Well, this is going to sound kind of silly, but you know how there's an election today? Yeah. Yeah, well, we lost the other guy. What do you mean you lost the other guy? I mean, we don't know where he is. Like, like we were playing hide-and-seek, and we just never found him, so he's just, like, gone now. Okay, so then why are you here? Well, I'm here to try to find somebody who wants to run for president and try to beat Trump in this election, and I was kind of hoping that'd be you. Me? Why me? Because you're Mario! Everybody loves you, you know? They recognize you from the games, and they'll be like, oh, it's that guy! Well, I can't run for president because I wasn't born in America. Oh, okay. Well, what about you? I'm from outer space. What? Okay, is anybody here from America? Right here. Well, how old are you? Sixteen. Uh, okay, we just won't tell anyone. Well, no, Jeffy cannot run for president. Well, look, he's the best I have right now. Um, I gotta say something. If I poop in a strainer, it makes poop spaghetti. See, look, he cannot be president of the country. Uh, it'll work. Okay, okay, Jeffy, uh, come with me. You're gonna go debate the president. Okay. Well, no, no, no! Hello and welcome to the presidential debate. Tonight, we have President Donald Trump versus Jeffy. All right, I'm going to ask both of you questions, so just answer those as best you can. Mr. President, we'll start with you. Why should you be re-elected president? So, they should elect me president because I'm already president and I'm already living in the White House, okay? And so, if they didn't re-elect me, it would take me approximately like four years to move all my knickknacks and patty wax and give a doggy bone out of the White House. It would take billions upon billions of boxes to get all of my stuff out of there. So to make it easier on me, Donald J. Trump, you should just re-elect me president so I don't have to move all my stuff out of the office. All right, now Jeffy, your turn. Same question. Why should you be elected president? Wrong. M Mr. President, pl please don't interrupt. He, he hasn't even said anything, so he, he can't be wrong yet. You should vote for me for president because if I was president, I would ban all school. No kid would ever have to go to school ever again, and they get to stay home and play video games all day. Also, I would ban green beans and make them illegal because they're disgusting and icky, and I hate green beans. First of all, no one should ban green beans because no one has done more for green beans than I, Donald J. Trump, since the Jolly Green Giant. Shut up! Green beans need to be banned because they're disgusting and they're shaped like little green pea peas. Uh, wrong. Carrots are better. Wrong. No one likes green beans. Wrong, 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 wrong. All right, all right, all right. Break it up, you two. All right, we're going to go on to the next question. Now, Jeffy, in your opinion, what is the biggest problem in the world right now? The biggest problem in the world right now is Fortnite. Every time they update the seasons, it gets worse and worse. To be honest, I don't even recognize the game anymore. So let's make Fortnite great again. Run. Oh, you actually like the dumb updates? All right, all right, all right. Okay, Mr. President, same question. What do you think is the biggest problem in the world right now? Okay, so the biggest problem in the world right now is that Legos are too small. 
Okay, this causes a choking hazard for billions upon billions of children every single day. Okay, so what I'm proposing is, is that we make these tiny, puny little Legos huge. Okay, we're gonna call them huge blocks. Okay. So, so kind of like mega blocks? I'm sorry, what? Mega blocks. Oh, mega blocks. Yes, that's exactly what I would call them. Mega blocks, because we would be making America great again, one block at a time. No, no, they're called mega blocks. Oh, oh, th yes. This right here is exactly what I'm talking about. So, if you notice, to show you guys a little bit of a diagram. This is our border wall with the previous administration, and this is our border wall with my administration, the Trump administration. So, yeah. And also, these are the exact same blocks that I want the border wall around the moon to be built out of. So, the wall will be huge! I actually like the tiny Legos. The big ones are for babies. Wrong. Mr. President, could you please stop saying wrong? Wrong. All right, that is it for the presidential debate. Wrong. Okay, you know what, whatever, I'm, I'm going home. We're just gonna see who wins tonight. There's no way Jeffy wins the election tonight. Don't say that, Mario, we have to believe in him. I don't believe nobody would vote for him. <laughs> hey, hey, did they announce who won yet? No, they're about to. Oh, good. Breaking news, okay? The election results are in, and the next president of the United States is Jeffy. What's that mean? No way. Jeffy, you're president! Yippee! He did it! That crazy son of a gun actually did it. Jeffy, what are you gonna do now that you're president? Well, first of all, I get to poop wherever I want. Yes, you can, Mr. President. And you also get this, the nuclear football. What's that? Well, this'll let you nuke just about anything. Well, the first thing I'm gonna nuke is all the green bean farms and all the schools. Oh, no, 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 Jeffy, no, 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 you can't do that, because if you nuke that, you're gonna nuke our country and we're all gonna die. Well, it's a small price to pay for me to be happy. Well, no, no, Jeffy, don't you do Ah, run for your life! Ah! Goofy goober, yeah. Grilled cheese. Ah, Chef Baby, it's on fire! Duh, how do you think I grilled it, idiot? Oh, Chef Baby, I can't eat it, it's too hot. What, what, just blow it. You know when food is hot, you blow it. I wish girls thought I was hot food. What? Don't you just eat your grilled cheese? God! <sighs> oh, oh, I guess I just won't eat tonight since Chef Baby burned my food again. I really wish somebody could teach Chef Baby how to cook. Hey, idiots! Huh? huh? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Do you have someone at home that thinks they know how to cook? Are they really bad at cooking? Well, hire me and I'll come tell them that they are absolutely trash at cooking. Might teach them a thing or two. Ooh, I should hire that guy to teach Chef Pee, Pee how to cook. Oh, I'm gonna call him right now. Okay, let me add a couple of eggs. Wait, wait, I can juggle these. Oh, they slip. Hey, uh, Chef Pee, Pee? No, don't talk to me, Tweet. You didn't even eat your grilled cheese sandwich, and you almost burned the house down. Well, me? No, you're the one that uh, turned the grilled cheese on fire. Wait, wait. If you would have just ate your sandwich, the fire would have went out. Well, well, Chef Pee, Pee, have you ever thought about taking cooking lessons? I thought about giving lessons? I'm a perfect chef. <laughs> People should take lessons from me every day. No, no, I meant, like, getting cooking lessons. Like, someone teach you how to cook. Wait, why would somebody teach me how to cook? I I'm perfect. Well, no, no, you're not, Chef Pee, Pee. You're really bad at cooking. Wait, wait, I'm not bad at cooking. I'm a god at cooking. Look, I came out of my mom's womb cooking. I was in her stomach with a spatula. Or whatever she was sticking up there. Well, well Chef Baby, look, I, I, I hired someone to give you cooking lessons. Wait, wait give me cooking lessons? Oh, I'll be giving them the cooking lessons. Who is it, Chef Boyardee? He wish he could be me. Well, no, it's someone you probably know. Ooh, that's them right now. I'll go answer the door. Oh, whatever, go get your little friend. Uh, hello? Who are you supposed to be? Uh, a turtle, I think. A turtle? You've got to be the fattest turtle I've ever seen. Go eat a Snickers, chunky boy. Uh, uh, on second thought, maybe I could chop you up into a nice turtle soup. Or maybe you'd compliment a nice tomato bisque with some coriander and basil. Mmm, delicious. Well, no, I didn't hire you to cook me. I hired you to teach my friend how to cook. Well, get out of the bloody way and show me to the kitchen, fat boy. Uh, okay. Mm-mm-mm, mm, it's almost done. All right, he's in here. Jesus Christ, bend me over and check my rectal temperature. What in God's name's going on here? Oh my God, 
Gordon Ramsay? You're in my house? In my kitchen? Wait, what are you doing here? Well, I feel like I'm in a nightmare, and I'm Freddy Cougar, and that's worse than the Hiroshima bombings. What God's name are you trying to make? Well, I was making macaroni noodles with a side of egg and marinara sauce. Chunky Turtle Boy, punch me in the gonads. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I needed that. Oh. All right, what's your name? Chef Pee Pee? Chef Penis, get over here! Oh, no, 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 it's Chef Pee Pee! Oh, I didn't stutter! Chef Penis, get over here now! Okay, okay, what do you want? You are bloody ow, disgraceful! Ow, ow. Wait, why are you hitting me? Is this raw egg all over your stove? Yes? That's a salmonella breeding ground! And how long has this bloody bar been out? Uh, it's been out for a couple of days. Three bloody days! Your disgraceful penis! You, you're gonna get a biohazard suit on, and you're gonna clean this kitchen top to bottom, and then you're gonna burn it down, and then we're gonna rebuild it from scratch! And maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to cook something edible! Disgraceful! Okay, okay... <laughs> Yeah. Is this clean enough? No, but I ain't got all night, and you need to learn how to cook badly. Hey, fat boy. Yeah? What's something you want to eat tonight? Uh, a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. Do you think you can handle a burger? Well, you want me to cook it, like, right now? Duh! What do you think, you stupid? Are you dumb? Get to it! Okay, God. And done. Oh, Gordon, it's ready! I don't want to hear my name come out of your disgusting mouth, penis! But, but, but it's ready! Alright, let's have a look. Jesus Christ! Is that my cremated grandmother? Grandma, is that you? Dirty old hag! What? No, it's not your grandmother. It's the burger that you asked me to make for Junior. Are you sure? You sure it's not a hockey puck? What? A hockey puck? Yeah, you be the goalie and I'll be the shooter. I'll teach you for bullying me. What? What? Uh. What? Penis, and let me show you how it's done. Oh. All right, Tubby, here's your burger. What in God's name is this? Oh, it's the grilled cheese Chef Pippi made me earlier. Chef Wainerhead, get in here! I assume you are talking to me? Yeah, why don't you take some advice and buy a ticket to Hawaii and go over and put this rock back in the volcano where you got it from? Is that a rock? It's supposed to be a grilled cheese sandwich. Supposed to be, and you're supposed to be a chef. So why don't you run along, take that digger hole six feet under, and bury that in there along with your career? <laughs> All right, anyway, Faso. Here's your burger. Is it good? Is it good? This is a half pound Wagyu beef patty with freshly made Wisconsin chatter with freshly chopped romaine hearts, vine ripe tomatoes on a brioche bun. And you're asking me if it's good. I won't serve this to the Queen of England. So if it's not good, I'll chop my left leg off. All right, I'll try it. All right. <sighs> This is the greatest thing I've ever eaten. I bet it is. Chef Pee Pee! What is that ungodly noise? Chef Pee Pee, where's my dinner? Oh, good lord, an even fatter turtle. Wait, wait, who are you? I'm the guy trying to make your chef a better cook. Oh, thank God, about time. Dad, you have to let him cook for you. He's amazing. Wait, really? Yeah, let me go whip something up for you. Okay. All right, here you are. Oh my god, this looks delicious! What I've prepared for you this evening is a nice fillet of beef with mature feline emesis, paired beautifully with a nice fresh Maine lobster tail with red crayon shavings crayon. and broccolini. Oh, 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 wow, this actually looks edible! It is, Dad! Wait, it is? Yes. It is edible? It is. Wait, I can actually eat this and not get sick. You can. Oh my gosh, Chef Pee Pee never made anything that's edible. You know what? You're hired and he's fired. Well, I wasn't necessarily looking for a job. I, 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 too late. You already got the job. All right. Dad, you're really going to fire Chef Pee Pee? Oh yeah, watch me. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay thinks my cookie's so bad. It's not that bad. Chef Pee Pee! What do you want, Bowser? Oh, you're fired. Wait, why do you sound like that? Well, look, Chef Pee Pee, you're fired. Wait, why am I fired? Because that new Chef Pee Pee over there can cook way better than you. His food is actually edible. Wait, edible? You can actually eat it? Yes, he can actually eat it. Look, I didn't think it was possible until he started cooking up some stuff. So get out of here, scram. You can't cook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Chef Pee Pee, this is the last time you'll ever see this house.
<sighs> I guess it's time to say my final goodbyes. Oh, goodbye, house. Ow! Bowser, what was that for? You know what? I hate this house. I'm never coming back. <laughs> What's wrong, Dad? Oh, Junior, the deed is done. What, you fired Chef Pee Pee? I took him out back and I shot him just like old Yeller. Oh, poor Chef Pee Pee. Oh, I yeah. mean, it was his time to be put down. Oh, yeah, it was. We, we got a good couple years out of him. He was a good dog. He was yeah, a good dog. Yeah, he was. Well, I mean, now we can actually eat edible food. I know, right? Now, I'll never get tired of this food. Oh, me either. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna grab the remote. Oh, I just fought it pretty good. All right, you fat sack of lard. There's some more lobster tails. Now eat up. Uh, Mr. Ramsey, I don't want any more lobster tails. You don't want any more lobster tails? I've never heard of such nonsense. Now eat your lobster tails. Can I please have something different? All right. Well, here's a blooming onion. Do you ever make anything bad? No, everything I make's delicious! Well, can I have a Happy Meal or something? A Happy Meal? What nonsense! I would never put that toxic waste in my body! Now eat your lobster tails! Uh, oh, I, need, I need to lose some weight. I'm gonna... I'm gonna Uber eat some McDonald's or something. <laughs> I'm in my room, and I finally get to enjoy some McDonald's. Why is the door locked? Uh, Open this door. I'm coming. Open the bloody door. Oh, okay. Lobster tails. Oh, no, no, no I, I don't want any more lobster tails. Yes, lobster tails. No, I'm full. I, I don't want any lobster tails. What? Do I smell bloody McDonald's in here? No, no that's that's just my farts. I, I farted. No, that's not what a lobster tail fart smells like. I'm coming in to check your room. No, no, no. Here I go. Oh, I gotta hide my McDonald's. Well, well, well. What have we got here? Uh, this is really old. I was, I was gonna throw it away. No, oh, I wouldn't know. Because all McDonald's food looks disgusting. And since it's over a month old, you wouldn't mind if I threw it away for you, would you? No, you, you, you could throw it away, but... All right, there but, we are. But what am I supposed to eat? Your lobster tails! But I don't want any more lobster tails. Well, it's a delicacy, and people would kill for it. So, eat your lobster tails. Oh, I hate Gordon Ramsay. I'm tired of eating lobster tails. I want McDonald's. Oh, I really miss Chef Pee Pee. At least I wasn't fat, because I would never eat, because his cooking sucked. I have to find a way to get rid of Gordon Ramsay. But my dad will never fire him, because my dad loves lobster tails. I have to call Chef Pee Pee and ask him for some help. Pee 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 Pee. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Ah, the Rummy! Wait, wait, Junior, is that you? Wow, you fat. What happened to you? Gordon Ramsay cooks delicious food every night, so I got really fat. Oh, wow. Sounds like a rich man's problem to have a good chef cook for you. Wait, are you homeless? Why are you living in a box? Well, we don't, uh, I'm not homeless. Uh, I'm, I'm just, you know, outside chilling. Yep, I like the outside. Ants biting my butt, stuff like that. Dirt everywhere. Yep. My mansion, it has a heater, but uh, it's broken. You know, I like cold air. So I'm just chilling out here in the cold, <laughs> just waiting. Well, I was wondering if you could help me get Gordon Ramsay fired. Wait, you get Gordon Ramsay fired? Are you serious, Julia? Yeah, because he cooks really good food every night. I'm tired of being fat. I, I, I just, I, I want McDonald's. I want normal food sometimes. He won't stop cooking lobster tails. I thought you wanted lobster tails. You know the good food. Well, I thought I did, but no, I just want you back. So can you help me get him fired, please? <sighs> Let me think about it. I got to mark some things out of my schedule. Hold on just a second. Yeah, oh. All right, I'm not doing anything. Okay, let's let's go get Gordon. All right, Junior, how do we get rid of Gordon? Junior, hurry up! Uh, hold on, I'm fat. <sighs> really? <sighs> hold on. <sighs> the stairs. <sighs> okay, how do we get Gordon Ramsay fired? Your dad would never fire him because he loves the food too much. Okay, how do we get Gordon Ramsay to quit? Do we just tell him his cooking sucks and he'll cry and run away? No, he's not gonna believe that. He actually has taste buds and he cooks good. Okay, um. Well, I know. What if you dress up like a chef that's more famous than him and tell him his cooking sucks? He'll have to believe you because you're more famous than him. Who's the, who's the chef more famous than him, though? Junior! Oh, hold on, Chef Pee Pee. Hi, hi. Okay. Junior, here's some more lobster tails. Eat up. I don't want any more lobster tails, Gordon. Well, you better eat these lobster tails. Wait, wait real quick. What chef did you grow up loving? Hmm. Chef Boyardee. I loved his ravioli. 
All right, thank you for telling me. Night, your lobster tails. I'll eat them. All right, Chef Baby, you have to dress up like Chef Boy RD, and then Thomas cooking sucks. Okay, I can do that. Right. Junior's gonna love these last three lobster tails. Hey, it's me, Chef Boy RD, in the flesh. Well, what are you doing here? It's an honor. Well, they don't call me Chef Boy about a party for nothing. I'm on my way to a party right now. Oh, you must be starving. Would you like a lobster tail? A uh, uh, lobster tail? Uh, no, no, ew! Where is the canned ravioli? Uh, canned ravioli, sir? I, I, I'll, I'll get right on it. Well, you're not a chef unless you're cooking canned ravioli. Only the best chefs can cook out of that. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I was just making... The lobster tails. Well, that is not good enough. I need canned ravioli. Okay, well, I'll go get canned ravioli right now. No, no, no. It's too late. You've already messed up. You're done. You, you should just quit at life. Oh, but, sir, I devoted my whole life to becoming a chef to be just like you. Your whole life? What a waste of a life. Oh, my God. If, if you're actually cooking this and not ravioli? Wow, you just wasted your whole life. Ugh. Get out of here. <gasps> I have failed, Chef Boyardee. Chef, maybe you did. You got rid of Gordon Ramsay. I know. I didn't think it would actually work, but he's gone. You look just like Chef Boyardee. He, he knew you without you introducing yourself. I know. I, I kind of I do look like him, right? So we can go back to eating your disgusting food now. Um, I kind of want to try these these lobster tails first, okay? Uh, all right. I'm so glad I got you back, Chef BB. <laughs> What, Jeffy? Daddy, I just made this new song. It's so fire, you have to hear it. No, I have a headache. Well, too bad, Daddy. I'm going to play it for you anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. Right here. Jeffy, turn it off. Daddy, I'm going to sing for you. I poop my pants. I didn't wipe. It's running up my back right now. It's starting to itch. Jeffy, turn it off. It's on my fingers. Jeffy, turn it off. It smells real bad. Jeffy. The piano show loud. Daddy, check out this D major! <laughs> Jimmy, stop being annoyed! Mario, use this toy! Well, get it for me! <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy, here's your toy. Go, go get it! <sighs> Alright guys, welcome back to Junior's Toy Reviews. I'm going to show you off my Thomas the Tank Engine collection. Here's my regular Thomas. Here's my little baby mini Thomas. Here's my fat, chunky boy, Thomas. And here's my limited edition, never before opened, solid gold, PSA 10 gold, Thomas. <laughs> Jeffy, you just ruined my video. Oh, I'm sorry, Junior. What are you doing? I'm trying to become YouTube famous like Ryan's Toy Reviews so I can make millions of dollars and get a gold play button. A gold play button? What's that? Well, when you hit a million subscribers on YouTube, they send you a solid gold play button with your name on it. Oh, I want a solid gold play button, Junior. You want to help me make YouTube videos? Heck yeah. All right, so I was thinking that we could prank Chef Pee, -Pee but I didn't have anyone to hold the camera. Okay, and we could throw hammers at him or something. Yeah, we could prank him with like a fake snake or something. Oh, that would be so Pee, -Pee Junior. Yeah, look, 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 let's go prank Chef Pee Pee. All right, let's go. All right, Jeffy, we're going to prank Chef Pee Pee with this fake snake. Look, it's so real. Oh, that's so sick, Junior. We're going to get all the views. Yeah, he's really going to believe it. But, no. Pumpkin, get away from it, Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Bad Pumpkin. Pumpkin, get away from bad it. Bad Pumpkin. But look, Pumpkin believes it's real, so Chef Pee Pee's going to think it's real, too, okay? All right, Junior, let's go. Mm -mm -mm. I love pizza rolls. All right, Jeffy, unleash the snake. All right, Junior, pull me on and get my pants. No, the snake. Oh, you're talking about a thing that's bigger than two inches. I got it right here. Ah! Is that a snake? It's a snake. Oh, my God, a snake's in the house. Oh. Wait, what? A hammer? Hammer time. No, 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 no. No, no, can't touch it, dude. Junior, what's going on? Pranked. What? Pranked? Uh, you trying to throw a hammer? Are you killing me? That's not a prank. Pranked. You know what? I'm going to tell you that. It's just a prank, Chef Pee Pee. Calm down. We get so many views for Chef Pee Pee freaking out. We sure are, Junior. Let's uh, go upload it to YouTube. Let's go upload it. Mm -hmm. I love pizza rolls. All right, Jeffy. I uploaded our video and I titled it Chef Pee Pee Prank Hilarious So Funny Ha Ha Gone Wrong with Hammer. Oh, sweet, Junior. How many views we got? We got a rockin' five views. Okay, well, how many until we get our gold play button? Well, we need a million subscribers. And if we assume that the five people that watch it subscribe, we still need need a bunch of subscribers like we're not even close oh dang it junior i want my gold play button now i'm tired of waiting i'm tired of waiting too i wish i had a gold play button like right now but i think it's gonna take us a couple years well what about this super mario logan guy he's got 38 m views wait that means million wait 
He has to have a gold play button. <gasps> but what if we break into his house and we try to steal his gold play button? Oh, I think we should totally do that, Junior. Let's Google his address. Just Google his address and see if it pops up. All right. Jeffy, look! His address is online! PP! Junior, we should totally go there and steal his gold play button! I mean, his address is online, so he's basically begging us to come steal his gold play button. Right! Right! Like, like we should show up at nighttime and say we're fans, because cause he's going to think we're fans, and we're going to ask to take a picture of his gold play button, and when he's not looking, we're going to snatch it. Yeah, Junior, let's go! Let's go to his house right now! Yeah, let's go right now! <laughs> All right, Jeffy, there's his house. And he's got the Lambo sitting out front. I call dibs. We're not stealing the Lambo. Oh, come on, Junior, please. Okay, fine. If we see the key sitting around, we'll steal the Lambo. Yes. All right, so we're going to knock on the door, pretend we're fans, and when he lets us in, we're going to steal the gold play button. Um, Junior, I think we should take these ski masks off or else he's going to think that we're going to rob the place. Well, well, we don't want him to see our identity because if he sees us while we steal, he's going to call the cops on us and know who we are. Yeah, but if he sees us in masks, he already might call the police. So I think we should take them off. Okay, how about you take the mask off and pretend to be a fan and when you get in the house, you open up a window so I can sneak in with a mask on and take the gold play button and he'll never know that I was snuck inside the house because you opened up a window. Oh, good idea, Junior. Let's do that. All right, you go to the door. I'll go to the back. All right. I'm at his house, 11 o'clock at night. Nothing weird about this. I'm just going to ring his doorbell and maybe he'll give me a house tour. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know, dude. Well, who's at the door? Bro, I don't know. This is your house, and we almost had that scene. 11 o'clock at night. Uh, it's, exactly. 11, it's 11 o'clock at night. The fans cannot show up at night. It's your house, though. You need to tell them to go. I swear if it's fans, I'm, I'm going to scream. Uh, hello? Ah! Are you Super Mario Logan? Yeah. The creator of Jeffy? Yeah. Where's the Jeffy puppet? Um, Lance has it. Can I hold it? Well, Lance isn't here right now. Well, I saw his truck out front. Okay, well, he's upstairs, but we're not using Jeffy today. Okay, where's Junior? I mean, I'm using him for a scene. We're trying can to I hold Junior? Well, we're trying to get a scene right now. Well, I can be in the scene. I'm the bestest at the scenes. I'll get it one take. Well, I mean... Uh, It'll be a one take Timmy. Okay, well, we're trying to get... Can I get a house tour? I mean, we're not letting fans... Can I live here? Well, we're not letting fans inside the house because of the cough cough. Well, I've already had it, so we're good. So, can I, can I live here? Well, where's your parents? Oh, they're in the car. We drove all the way from Alaska nonstop to be here. Wow, this is Alaska. all I wanted for my birthday. I just wanted to come see you, and now I'm here and standing in front of you. I can see you with my eyes. I can see them. Yeah, okay, well, Alaska's a very far away. Yeah, it was. It was a, the tires never stopped moving. Okay. Like, nonstop. We didn't even sleep. What? Two days. Two days we drove here to see you for my birthday, and now I'm not leaving until I get to hold the Jeffy puppet. Can I have some merch? I mean, we have merch. I can give you some merch. Okay, okay. Can I get a PlayStation 5 well, that's and an Xbox X that's and an merch. Xbox S? I mean, that's not... Where's Precious? She's in my room. Can I see Precious? Can I hold Precious? Can I have Precious? Well, she's under the bed. What about Pumpkin? Where's Pumpkin? I mean, he's in the house. Can I have him? No. Why? Because he's my cat. Why? Because I want... Look, look, look how about... Hold on, hold on. Can I eat dinner here? No, I, no, hold on. One more thing. Can we FaceTime my brother's sister's best friend's husband's cousin's sister? I know he'll answer. And if not, we'll just try it 20 more times because you have time. Well, I don't. I, look, we have to really get this scene. I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'll watch. Well, no, we just. Look, okay, how about this? Thanks for being a fan. Okay, hold on, hold on. One more thing before I go. Can I have a picture with the gold play button? Oh, yes. That's something I actually can do. Okay, so, all right, let's do it. You get, get a picture with that, uh -huh. and then you got to go, okay? And then I can drive the Lambo. No, no, you're not old enough. How old are you? 17. Uh, look, okay, listen. Look, let's just go get a picture with the gold play button, and then we'll think about it. All right. All right, here's the gold play button. When's your HTML movie coming out? I mean, we're still working on it. Take your picture with the gold play button. I'll have a phone. Well, how are you supposed to take a picture? It's hot in here. Can I open up a window? No. I'm going to open up a window. It's hot in here. Don't. <sighs> Well, Jeffy, you made it inside. How is it? Oh, it's really cool, Junior. He let me see the gold play button. Is it golden? Oh, yeah. It's super gold, Junior. And I think my chances of driving the Lambo are pretty good. Really? Yeah, and he's really, really nice. So he might even let me have the Lamborghini. That's so cool. Okay, let's grab the gold play button. All right, this is a good idea, Junior. <sighs> was it a fan? Yeah, now he's inside the house. He won't leave. Wait, wait what? You let him in? Come on, Logan. Why? We, we filming right now. I know, but he wanted a picture with the gold play button, and now he won't leave. He's opened up windows. <sighs> Did he fart? No, he's opened up windows. I don't know why he's opened up a window, but Lavelle, can you help me get him out? I guess. Look, you gotta learn to be me, Logan. Dang. <sighs> yeah, this is why you don't let people in your house at 11 o'clock at night. Here it is, Junior. Whoa, it's so golden! Oh, yeah, I've already seen it, though. This is like my second time seeing it. Okay, help me get it off the wall. All right. <laughs> what? 
It's like stuck on the wall. Yeah, Junior, how are we gonna get on the wall? Okay, well we only want the gold part. So let's find a hammer, shatter this glass, and steal the gold part. Oh, good thinking, Junior. All right, you stall, I find a hammer. All right, Junior. All right, here's Lavelle. You're the voice of Chef Pee Pee. Mm -hmm. You're the voice of Joseph. Yep. You're the voice of Toad. Exactly. You're Charlie, you're Charlie. Uh, uh Charlie? Uh, okay. Hi, guys, I'm Charlie. <laughs> So what what you want? You want a picture or something? No, I don't have a phone. You're Chef Pee Pee. Do the voice of Chef Pee Pee. Uh, so what do you want me to say? Anything. Uh, Junior, get out of this kitchen. <laughs> Where's Lance? Um, you know what, Lance? Come Lance. here, someone want to see you. Lance. Lance. Lance, 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 where are you at? Hey, Lance, there's a fan here. Can you please talk to him so he'll leave? Okay. Yeah. Ah, you're the voice of Jeffy. You're Lance. That's you. Yep. Um, can you say something in your Jeffy voice? Well, what do you want me to say? Say, hey, Jeffy, what doing? All right. Hey, Jeffy, what doing? <gasps> That's so cool. I'm going to go upstairs and see if there's some stuff I can take. Um, Logan? What? He said he's going to go upstairs and take some stuff. So. Oh, you were supposed to help me get him out. But you let him in your house. Oh, my God, I'm sitting on the red couch. Can I have it? No. This is the red couch that you film on. I know. I, I, can I have Junior? No. Why? Because I need him. Well, can I have Joseph? No. Can I have Cody? No. Why? Because I only have one of them. Well, can I live here? What? No, I gotta get back to filming. Well, I drove all the way from Alaska. I want to live here. Well, you can't live here. Just look, can you please leave? No, I can't leave because my parents dropped me off. I told them to come back in a couple hours, so I'm well, stuck here. Well, I need, to, I need to get back to filming, so can you just, I'll call you an Uber. No, I don't want an Uber. I want to live here. I want to be in your film. Can I be in your film? No, I, I gotta finish filming. Look, please just leave. No, I want to see you on the red couch watch you film. Leave! Oh, wow. You're mean. You're the meanest YouTuber I've ever seen. Ever. Wow. Never meet your idols. I'm glad you got demonetized. Rude. All right, I'm about to steal that gold. Wait, what? Hey, Logan! There's a kid in the ski mask trying to steal your play button. I gotta hurry up and bring it. Hey! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! Ah, Jeffy, we're caught! Run! Yeah, you're caught! Run, Jeffy, run! Oh my god, that was the weirdest fan ever. Oh, the weirdest, dude. The weirdest. <sighs> Well, that sucks. We didn't get the gold play button. Yeah, Junior, and they were super mean. Yeah, they were the meanest YouTubers ever. I can't wait to tell everyone that the Super Mario Logan is the meanest YouTuber in the world. He didn't give us any merch. Yeah, but we did get one thing, Junior. What? what? Is that the Lambo key? It's the Lambo key. Shotgun! <laughs> All right, let's try to get this scene. What's that noise? I'll go check. Uh, Logan? They took your Lambo. What? Mm-hmm. Ding, 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 ding! Congratulations, Daddy. You're now on the Jeffy Game Show. And if you answer this one question correctly, then you have to buy me the new PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox Series X. I don't want to play. Well, too bad, Daddy. The first question is, what color is my helmet? Red. No, you just changed your helmet. Nah, nah. Mario, you said he had a red helmet on. Now he's wearing a red helmet. Well, no, it was blue and he just changed. It doesn't count. Well, Danny, I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Well, I'm not buying you the new PlayStation or the new Xbox. Just wait till Christmas. Christmas? That's like next month. I don't even know if I'll be alive by then. You'll be alive next month. I know. Mario, that's true. The sun could explode tomorrow. Yeah, and if the sun explodes, then I don't know what it's like to have a PlayStation 5 or a brand new Xbox. Box. Well, no one will know because if the sun explodes, we'll all be dead, so no one will care. Look, Jeffy, look, Christmas is next month, and you have to be good because Santa Claus is watching. Oh, Santa Claus is watching? Well, what about this, Santa Claus? I got a big diaper full of shit. Jeffy, Jeffy, that's it. You're grounded. Grounded? What did I do? Mario, how about we make him a good boy chart? What's a good boy chart? Here, look. Every time Jeffy does something good, we put a gold star on the chart, and when he has 25 gold stars, he gets a prize! G good idea, baby! He'll never do 25 good things, so he'll never get a prize! Mario, that's not the point! <laughs> Jeffy, look! Uh, we got you a good boy chart! Good boy chart? Yeah, good boy chart! If you do 25 good things, I'll buy you one of the new systems! 25 good things? I might as well just wait till Christmas! Then wait till Christmas. Well, no, Daddy! Tell me what the 25 good things are! Okay, you, you have to do good things, like you can't be annoying, you can't poop your pants, oh, and uh, you can't break stuff. Well, I haven't broken anything all day, so... Gold star. Oh, I'll go get the gold stars! What, 
No. All right, Jeffy, there's your first gold star. I got a star? Daddy, that is the tits. And you lost your gold star. I lost it? What did I do? You said a bad word. That's a bad word? Most people would say that's a good word. Jeffy, look, you can't say bad things. You can't do bad things. You can only do good things to get gold stars. Well, Daddy, my butt's mad at you, so you better gotta listen to what he's gotta say. <laughs> Jeffy, that is disgusting. Look, you can only do good things, so start doing good things. Okay, well, what good things do you want me to do then, dang? One, take the microphone out of your pants. Okay, next, go clean the entire kitchen, and you'll get a gold star. All right. Well, this might actually be a good thing if you start doing good stuff. Yo, 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 Mario, what's up, bro? What's up, Black Yoshi? Yeah, man, I know you see that new Play Day for Five, you know, the PS5 one? Yeah, I saw it. And the new Xbox. Yeah. Well, my pocket's running a little thin this month, <sighs> so I was wondering if you'd be done slime me that Thowie so I can get the consoles. I don't have a Thowie. Owie! Look, Black Yoshi, I'm not going to buy you any of the systems because I have to buy Jeffy one if he finishes his good boy chart. Good boy chops? <laughs> what's that about, bro? Well, if Jeffy gets 25 gold stars, I told him I'd buy him one of the systems. Well, why don't I get some good boy chops? Because you just don't get one. Well, hold up, folks. <laughs> what? Mario, take this out right here. This is my own good boy chops. And instead of 25 stars, I got 50 stars on there. Like the American flag. I play the Libra to the good boy chops, to the United States, or give me both the console. Black Yoshi, what good things have you done? Uh, I be done checks the mail. What, uh, that, that's why my mail was stolen. Oh, yeah, your grandma be sent you $5 for your birthday, but I already be done spimps it. Like, that's a federal offense. Mario, I don't care what type of filth it is. If it's a picket fence, a huckleberry fence, the Miami doll fence. Look, you're not getting any of the systems. I don't care if you have a good boy chart. <laughs> well, fine then, folks. You green. I'm just going to take my chart somewhere else. Maybe I'll take it to the Walmart, and they can see how good I've been. And maybe they just give me the console free. <sighs> Oh man, I don't want to clean all these dishes. Hey Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm about to have to clean the kitchen so I can get a gold star. What happens if you get a gold star? Well, I get to get all the new systems. Uh, really? Yeah. We well, want to see my new toy that I just got? Heck yeah, Junior. All right, turn off all the lights. All right. All right, Jeffy, check this out. It's a lightsaber. Junior, that is the tits. I know, right? It's a real lightsaber. So if I touch it, my fingers are gonna come off? Yeah. What? Wire. Well, you must be made out of armor or something. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I am the BFD with the BFD. Yeah, so what if instead of cleaning those dishes, you got rid of those dishes like a Sith? Oh, heck yeah, Junior, heck! Yeah, here, use your Jedi powers to clean those dishes. All right, Junior. All right, Jeffy, the dishes are all lined up for you. Dishes? I am your father. You showed those dishes. I sure did, Junior. Whoa, Jeffy, look at the big mess you made. I know, Junior, it's so sick. Ooh, you made a big old mess, now I'm gonna go tell your daddy. Oh, please don't go tell my daddy. I'm supposed to be being a good boy and get the gold star so I can get the new systems. Well, if you help me get the new PlayStation 5, then uh, I won't tell your daddy that you made a big old mess. So, this is what the plan gonna be. So what you gonna do is, you gonna go steal the gold stars and put it all over your good boy card, and then you gonna take that card to your mama. You gonna tell your mama that your daddy gave you the stars, and then she gonna buy you the Xbox. Then you take that same card and take it to your daddy, and then you tell your daddy that your mama gave you the stars, and then he gonna buy you the PlayStation. And then you give the PlayStation to me. Oh, that idea sounds pity. Well, when do I get a system? You don't. Aww. All right, so go steal the star and get a card to your mom. All right. Oh, my stomach's rumbling. I'm really hungry. Oh, me too. Hey, since Jeffy's cleaning the kitchen, I can go get us some food. Yeah, you should definitely go get us some food. Okay, well, what are you in the mood for? McDonald's. Definitely McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's. We always get McDonald's. But I love McDonald's. And just don't tell Jeffy we're getting McDonald's because I don't want him to eat any of it. Why is that? Because I want him to eat healthy. Oh, well, okay. Well, I'll be right back then. All right. Oh, hey, Mommy. What is it, Jeffy? Oh, uh, before you leave, I cleaned the kitchen so good that Daddy gave me all the stars on my good boy <gasps> chart. He did? Jeffy, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, thanks, Mommy. Oh, uh, I am pretty proud of it. Uh, but when you go out, can you go ahead and get me my Xbox? I will, Jeffy. I will. Oh, sweet, Mommy. Thanks. Ooh, yeah, oh, Daddy, guess what? what? Jeffy, why are you talking like that? Right there, go good boy chart full of stars. Jeffy, stop talking like that. What are you saying? 
Well, Daddy, I cleaned the kitchen so good that Mommy go ahead and gave me all the stars. But she's not supposed to do that. She's only supposed to give you one star for cleaning the kitchen. Well, now you gotta go get me my PlayStation. Well, Jeffy, no, explain to me what each star was for. All right, well, the first star, because I cleaned one dish, then I cleaned two dishes, what? and then I cleaned three dishes, and then I cleaned four dishes. No, you don't. Then I cleaned five dishes. You don't get a star per all dish. All the way down to 25 dishes. Oh, oh you know what, Jeffy, fine, listen. I will go ahead and buy you one game system, but only one. But on Christmas morning, when you wake up and there's no other presents, what are you gonna think? That there's no Santa Claus? No, no, because I'm giving you your Christmas gift today. So when I get you your one game system right now, that means it's all you're getting for Christmas, okay? So wh which, which system do you want right now? Uh, the PlayStation 5. All right, I'm gonna go get it, but that's all you're getting. Good. Oh, folks, it's working, folks! Uh -huh. uh, uh. All right, Jeffy, here's your PlayStation 5. Daddy, this is cool as Jeffy, do not say that word. Look, here, just take your PlayStation 5, Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Jeffy, go! Take it. Jeffy, I have your Xbox! Oh, Mother, that is the bosoms. Thank you for being such a good boy, Jeffy. Oh, I'm the bestest boy ever. Enjoy! Thanks, Mother. No, 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 this ain't right. What's wrong? They went ahead and got us the digital dishes or the PS5 and the Xbox, so they went cheap on us. Is that bad? Yeah, it's bad. Because what happens if our Wi-Fi goes out? Then we can't access our games. So we need the ones with the disc dishes. So what we need to do is, I got some plan. We're going to go downstairs and we're going to break both of these consoles so they have to take it back and get us the better ones. So come on, let's go. All right, Jeffy, so what we're going to do is we're going to break them, and then you're going to take them back to your parents and tell them that they came like that. Then they're going to take them back to the store, and then they're going to exchange them for the good ones. All right. All right, so I'm going to hit this egg bot with the helmet. Are right, you ready? Here we go. <coughs> I got an even better idea. All right, folks, we're going to throw the Xbox off the balcony. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> that I'll do it. All right, let me get the PlayStation. All right, right here. PlayStation 5 is next. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check it out, folks. Oh, 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 yeah, folks. They broke it. So now what you got to do is you got to take them to your parents and then tell them they came like this. All right. Mario, I'm back. Oh, good. I'm starving. Where's the food? <gasps> Mario, I completely forgot. I was just so excited about Jeffy being such a good boy. I mean, he was a good boy, right? Yeah, right? I mean, he cleaned the kitchen, right? Yeah, right? Um, Mommy, uh, I need to talk to you in the other room in private. Oh. It's an emergency. Okay, Jeffy. All right. All right, Mommy. So I was getting ready to play the Xbox, and I was so excited, and I opened up the box, and it looked like this. Oh, no, Jeffy, it's broken. Yeah, and I read online that all the digital Xboxes are broken. So when you take it back, I think you need to ask for the one with the disc, because uh, those are stronger. Oh, Jeffy, I'm so sorry I got the wrong one. I'll go to the store right now, return it, and get the right one, okay? Oh, oh thank you so much, Mommy. I appreciate it. Oh, Daddy! What? It's awful! What? Play the shot, old yeller! What are you talking about, Jeffy? Daddy, I was getting ready to play my new PS5. I was so excited. And I opened up the box and it was broken! What? Broken? Yeah, and I read online that all the digital PS5s are broken when you open them up. Well, well, so then what am I supposed to get? Well, you're supposed to get the one with the disc player. I heard those are stronger and they don't break. And they're not broken when you when you get them. What, it looks like this thing just snaps back on. It doesn't. It, well, 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 let me try it. No, it doesn't. Let, let me try it. Okay, it was dropped off a balcony. What? I mean, it looks like it was dropped off a balcony. I don't know what they're doing over there at Sony. But. Uh, okay, well then, I'll try to... Okay, I'll return it and get you the one that can play disc if this one came broken. Okay. All right, thanks, Daddy. <sighs> Jeffy, I got your PlayStation 5. Jeffy, I got your Xbox. What? Baby, why'd you get him an Xbox? Why did you get him a PlayStation 5? He said you gave him 25 gold stars. He said you gave him 25 gold stars. I didn't. I didn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Jeffy, that's it. You're grounded. You lied to us. Father, 
Please don't raise your voice at me. No, don't talk to me in that British voice. It's not going to work this time. You lied to us so that you can get both systems. Well, only one of the systems is for me. Then who's the other system for? <laughs> oh, boy, you got the PS5. Oh, I can't wait to play it. No, you're not playing the PS5. We're going to return these consoles. Jeffy, you're grounded. Well, am I grounded too, Daddy? Yeah, you're grounded too. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to play the PlayStation 5. Oh, I think I'm going to play the Xbox. What? <laughs> yep, we're going to play these systems because we bought them. And you guys can just sit back and watch and be grounded. Come on, baby. Let's play these systems. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. This PlayStation 5 is so fun. This is so much fun, Mario. Yeah. Ooh. Today, we're going to be learning about dinosaurs and their bones. Dinosaurs have... Ooh, ooh, teacher, teacher, I can do a dinosaur impression. Do it, Junior. You done? You feel better now that you got that out of the way? Now, with your permission, if you don't mind, I'd like to finish teaching the class. Anyway, class, dinosaurs have a lot of bones. I'm talking a lot of bones. And they lived over 100 million years ago. Which means dinosaurs are old as <laughs> All right, Crash, stop creaming like a dinosaur. You're not a dinosaur, so you can't cream like them. All right, as I was saying, dinosaurs lived over a hundred million years ago, and their bones are buried underneath the earth. So if you want to, when you get home tonight, you could take a shovel and go in your backyard and start digging, and you might find a dinosaur bone. Oh, Jeffy, when we get home tonight, we should try to dig in our backyard to see if we can find dinosaur bones. Heck yeah, Junior. And if we find one, we can chew on it like a dog. <laughs> yeah, and we can see what a dinosaur tastes like. Heck yeah, Junior. Let's go do it. Yeah. Wait, wait, where are you going? Class isn't over yet. Oh, they're gonna fail anyway. All right, Jeffy, you ready to start digging for dinosaur bones? F yeah, Junior. F yeah. So dinosaurs existed about 50 billion zillion years ago. Mm hmm sounds about right. So how far do you think the, the bones are under the ground? Probably a strong two feet. Well, then start digging, Jeffy. All right, Junior. <laughs> junior, I'm hitting something. <laughs> Jeffy, it's an egg! <gasps> Do you think it's a dinosaur egg, Junior? It has to be, it was underground! Wow, ironically enough, right where we started digging, we found a dinosaur egg. Well, let's take it inside! Okay, Junior! Yeah. Oh man, Jeffy, I can't believe we found a real dinosaur egg! How'd you make the dinosaur come out, Junior? Get out of here, dinosaur, get out right now! No, I, I think you're supposed to sit on it. Well, that's what I told her, Junior, but she didn't listen. No, no, I think you're supposed to sit on the egg. Like, you know like how chickens sit on their eggs to make them hatch? Well, it's not a chicken egg, Junior, it's a dinosaur egg! Well, I still think dinosaurs sat on their eggs. I mean, I mean, if they sat on them, they'd probably break them because they were like a million pounds. Yeah. I mean, but still, try sitting on it. All right, Junior. Now what? Now we wait. How long? I don't know. Maybe five minutes. Okay. Junior, nothing's happening. Well, maybe the egg knows that you're not a real dinosaur, so it's not going to hatch. Hmm. I got an idea, Junior. Just stay right here. Rawr! I'm a Jeffy Rex, Junior. Whoa, you look just like a dinosaur, Jeffy. Yep, sure do. This egg will definitely hatch now when you get on it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wee Bessie. You sure are a wild one. All right, now I'm going to ride you into the sunset. Ooh, yee-haw. Yee-haw. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, I'm going to go play toys. Let me know when it hatches. All right, Junior. Woo, settle down there, Bessie. You sure are a wild one. <laughs> Jeffy, we're home! Roar, Daddy, I'm a dinosaur! Well, Jeffy, what is that? It's my sack, Daddy. I think it's a little bit swollen. Does it look normal to you? Maybe you should put your hand on it so I can cough. Well, Jeffy, really, what is that? Daddy, this is what happened. So I went to the shed, and I got a shovel. And then I went to the backyard, and I proceeded to dig a huge hole. But you what? Daddy, don't be mad. And then I found a dinosaur egg, so now I'm going to sit on it until it hatches so I can become a mommy dinosaur. Jeffy, there's no way you found a dinosaur egg in the backyard. Then what am I sitting on, Daddy? Mario, he could have actually found a dinosaur egg. Well, even if that's a dinosaur egg, it's probably millions of years old, and it'll never hatch. Oh, no, Daddy! I feel something! Maybe you should get close and listen! <sighs> what, Jeffy, you're disgusting! Daddy, you wanna know what that was? Four cans of SpaghettiOs. Cold, because I couldn't figure out how to use the microwave. Jeffy, get your stupid egg off the couch and you get out of that stupid, ridiculous costume. <laughs> oh, oh no, Daddy! I actually feel something this time! No, I'm not gonna fall for that again. <laughs> oh no, I think the egg's hatching! <sighs> oh my gosh! Is that a dinosaur? Mario, Jeffy had a baby dinosaur and it's so cute! I'm a proud mommy. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh.
Ooh. Jackie, what are you going to name him? Meatball. Well, no, we're not naming it because once you name it, you have to keep it. We're not keeping a pet dinosaur. Sebastian. Mr. Wigglesworth. No. Mr. Fluffbottom. You don't even know if it's a boy. Mrs. Fluffbottom. No, we're not naming it. Squeakers. No, it's, it's a dinosaur. It doesn't squeak. Blue. It's green. Dang it, I got the perfect name. I'm going to name him Booger. Oh, I like Booger. It's not, green like a booger. You're not keeping a dinosaur and naming a booger. Hey, booger, say hi to my daddy. <laughs> Give me my hat back. <laughs> Give me my hat back. <laughs> okay, you know, I'm going to call a dinosaurologist. A paleontologist, Mario? Yeah, yeah I'm going to call up that, and I'm going to see what's going on with the stupid dinosaur, because it doesn't even make sense. If you're telling me it's 100 million years old, then why is it a pencil on his nose? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I'm going to call a dinosaurologist. Hey there, you call me? Yeah, are you busy? Nah, not really. I just plugged in my new lava lamp. Hasn't started moving yet, but when it does, it's going to be sweet. Oh, that's really cool. So, I have a question. Uh-huh. Well, can I see you? Yeah. No, no, not with the lava lamp, just you. Oh, yeah, yeah, what's up? Are you a paleontologist? Uh, yeah, I can be. Okay, so here's what happened. My son started digging a hole in the backyard, and he found an egg. No, no more lava lamp. Uh, okay, what's up? Uh, look, okay, focus. So my son started digging a hole in the backyard, he found an egg, and it hatched, and it turned into a dinosaur. That's, that's, that's not how that usually goes. Yeah, so, like, what do we do with it? Like, do we throw it away, take it to a shelter, what do we do? I mean, I keep it. <sighs> my grandma's calling. Oh. Hold on, let me decline that. Okay, so what, what do we do about that? I, I'd keep it. Oh, you keep it? <gasps> so we can keep it? <laughs> No, no, we're not keeping it. Look, 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 look uh, isn't it like dangerous to keep it? Like, 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 what does it even eat? I mean, people probably, or whole cows if you have those. Well, uh, uh, well, we don't have those. We only have Cheetos. Yeah, that could work if you have a lot of Cheetos. Well, no, we're not. No, okay, look, look, man, can you just say that it's illegal to have a pet dinosaur and that we should get rid of it? Well, no, it sounds like it'd be cool to have a pet dinosaur. Yay, we get to keep Booger! <laughs> No, 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 you know what? You don't even know what you're talking about. You're just dumb. Okay, well, don't call me next time. Lose my number. Well, they only call you a paleontologist because you're pale and tall. If you look at me, you can tell that neither of those are true. I'm tan and short. Okay, well, you know what? Just hang up, man. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay. All right, Jeffy, you can't keep the dinosaur anymore. Well, Daddy, the guy in the phone chat can keep him, so I'm going to keep Booger. No, you're only going to spend a few more minutes with him, and then we're going to get someone to come take him away from you. Well, me and Booger are going to go play. Come on, Booger, let's go. Yeah! Mario, just let him keep it. No, baby, it's a dinosaur. It's going to take big dinosaur poops all over the house. It's going to destroy our furniture. It's going to do a whole bunch of bad stuff, so he's not keeping it. You didn't hang up? Huh? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so sick. Hey, Junior, guess what? What? Booger hat. Ah! Oh, that's so sick, that's a dinosaur. Yeah, Junior, but my daddy won't let me keep him. Well, why not? Because he's a boomer. Well, what are you going to do with him then? Well, Junior, I'm not going to let him out of my sight, because if I do, my daddy's going to try to take him and get rid of him. Well, then what are you going to do when you go to school tomorrow? I'll just have to put him in my backpack and take him with me. Well, uh, I guess that's what you're going to have to do then, but uh -huh. that is a really cool dinosaur. Oh. Ah! I have to find a way to get rid of that dinosaur. Mario, just let him keep it. No, it's too dangerous. Ooh, I got an idea. While Jeffy's sleeping, we'll sneak in his room, grab the dinosaur, get in the car, drive really, really far away, and leave it on the side of the road. That's so mean. You can't do that to him. Baby, it's a dinosaur. When it gets older, it's going to get huge. It's going to destroy the house, and it might even try to eat us. Mario, that's his baby. It's not his baby. All he did was sit on the egg. It's not like he banged the dinosaur. Hey, Mario, I got to watch Charlie and Friends in here. Something wrong with my TV. Or, ugh. Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Oh, hi guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm a dinosaur. I'm Charlie Soros Rex. <laughs> oh my god, Charlie, that was so hilarious. <laughs> You're not a dinosaur. <laughs> I got an idea. Baby, what I'll do is I'll hire Charlie to pretend to be the dinosaur's dad. And I'll, I'll dress up like the dinosaur's mom. And when Jeffy gets home from school tomorrow, we'll say the dinosaur's real parents came to pick up the dinosaur. Oh, I don't know, Mario. Psh, good luck with that. I've been trying to meet Charlie for years now. Ugh. I'll find a way to get him. All right, baby. How do I look? Mario, you look ridiculous. No, I look like the dinosaur's mommy, and Jeffy's going to believe it. No, he won't, Mario. There's no way. I'm, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Hello? 
Hey, you, uh, hey, you, you busy right now? No, I'm kind of busy. Why? Oh, dude, you have got to see this. I mean, look what the lava lamp's doing. It finally started moving. It's getting all blobby and stuff. That That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, look at that. All right, crafts. So today, we're going to be having a test today on the dinosaur balls. So if you left class early yesterday, <coughs> Jeffy and Junior, then you're screwed. So before we take the test, let's go over the bones of the dinosaur. So the head bones connected to the neck bone, and the neck bones connected to the body bone, and the body bones connected to the wiener bone, and the wiener bones connected to the red bone, and the red bones connected to the tail bone. One more time, class. <laughs> Jeffy, what are you messing with in your backpack? Oh, uh, a dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, right. If you got a dinosaur in your backpack, then I'm packing more than two inches. No, I swear it's a dinosaur. All right, I'm going to come check. And if there's a dinosaur in your backpack, you get to go home for the rest of the day and I'll give you an A on the test. All right, let me check. <laughs> I got to come home early because I took my dinosaur to school. Rawr! Who are you? I'm the dinosaur's mom. Rawr! And I'm the dinosaur's dad. Rawr! And we're here to take our son back. <gasps> Mommy, is this true? Uh, uh, I, I think so, Jeffy. Uh-huh, we left our egg in the dirt because we had to go to the grocery store. Yep, can't forget the fruity pebbles. <laughs> no, can't can't forget those. So come on, son, let's go home. Ah! So let go of my back! Man, this mask is hot. Wait, who are you? Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. So you guys really aren't the parents? Well, uh, no, Jeffy, we're just trying to get rid of that dinosaur because you're not supposed to have it. Well, Daddy, that's rude. And we don't need this, so come on, Booger, let's go. What? We're gonna get rid of that dinosaur eventually. When do I get paid? What? Oh, look, baby, we have to call someone who can really get rid of that dinosaur. Hey there, someone call a crocodile hunter? Yeah, I was wondering, do you deal with dinosaurs? Oh, no, mate. No dinosaurs, only crocs. Well, um, my son has a croc in his room, and he wants to try to keep it as a pet. Oh, you can't do that. You cannot keep crocs as pets. They're too dangerous. So can you go in the room and you know, take the croc from him? Yep, I'll go round him up just in a bit. Mario, why would you tell him it's a crocodile? Well, it, it's small enough to be a crocodile. Look, look, he'll believe it's a crocodile, and he'll get rid of it. Oh, no. All right, took a little bit of wrestling, but I got it. What is that? It's a croc. N no, I was talking about a croc. I'm confused. That's a croc. Well, no, not the shoe, like a crocodile. Oh, crocodile. Okay, where's it at? It's in my son's room. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm on it. But I'm still going to charge you for this croc. Uh, okay, fine. Just, just go. All right. <sighs> la, 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 la. Bad booger, you are off key again. <laughs> la, 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 la. Good booger. Oh, no. Oh. Oh no, I'm got the bubble guts. All right, Booger, you stay right here. I gotta go have diarrhea in the sink. Oh, wow, that's a croc. Oh, about 13 pounds. Yeah, I think I can take them. Ah, oh, I got you now, I can't. Oh, 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 wrestle him. Oh, oh, got him in a chokehold. Oh, oh, let's get him in the carrier. Let's get him in the carrier. Oh, all right, that'll do it. But you got him. Sure did. Thank you so much. Mario, this is cruel. No, it's not, baby. We don't need a pet dinosaur. All right, so that's off to the vaporizer for him. What? what? Vaporizer? Yeah, how do you think we make Crocs? We skin the little fella and then we wrap it around the shoe. What? what? Yeah, that's how we do it. All right, come on, off you go. Woo! Mario, I hope you're happy. <laughs> Um, Daddy, have you seen Booger? Tell him, Mario, tell him how sick you are! Well, I've had a sore throat for the last three days. No, Mario, tell him what you did to his Booger! Well, I found out you were picking your nose and wiping it on the kitchen cabinets, and I decided to leave him there. F yeah, Daddy, give me some knuckles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mario, tell him what you did! Uh, I was on the internet, and I ordered you a bunch of toys! F yeah, Daddy, give me some more nut. Uh-huh. No, Mario, tell him what's happening! I'm gonna take you to Walmart to pick up a Lunchable. F yeah, Daddy. Give me some more nut. Uh -huh. That's three F yeahs in a row, uh -huh. Daddy. Mm. No, Mario. Tell him right now how you had someone take Booger away and now he's being made into shit. 
shoes. Oh, Daddy, you took my booger away. Well, look, he's going to be happier in shoes. Daddy, I hate you. You're not my favorite daddy anymore. <laughs> I don't want my booger turned into shoes. Oh, well, look, look, you can't have a pet dog. No, 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 no it's... I'll try to get him back, okay? I'll try to get him back. All right, just stop crying. I'm gonna go get him back. I want my F years back, Dad. Give him back. Hey, is there any way that we can actually get Booger back? Ah! Oh, hey, Booger, you, you just had your dinner? Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'm gonna take this away from you. Uh, come on, Booger, c come back with us. Yeah. Wait. Stop crying, I got Booger back. You got my Booger back? Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, you so much. Oh, wow. How did you get it back? I just went and talked to the guy. All right, Jeffy, look. Mm -hmm. You get to keep Booger as long as he doesn't break anything or destroy anything, okay? F yeah, daddy. <sighs> So, Joseph, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. Me either. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, it's Harry. Oh my God, what do you want, Harry? Yeah. Well, I was selling my Pokemon card collection, and I was wondering if you guys were interested in buying any. Well, do you have any Poliwags or Poliwhirls or Poliwrass or Politoads? No. They don't talk to me. Ha, <laughs> loser. It's yeah. so lame. But I do have a couple cool ones, like this Charizard right here. It is a holographic, a real penny dropper. That's lame. Uh, okay, well, I also have this Mewtwo. It's actually a Shadowless first edition. Shadowless? Yes. So, like, we don't get six more weeks of winter? I don't understand. No, it doesn't have a shadow. So if you look at the Charizard, there's a shadow around the picture. On the Mewtwo, the first edition, it doesn't have that. So how many girls you get with that? <laughs> <laughs> nice girls, girls, yeah. besides your mom. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, no, don't talk to me unless you have some polys, because I have the complete poly collection. Oh, don't flesh on them, dude. What's the poly? Collection. Oh my god, Joseph, I gotta do it to him. No, don't do it to I him. I gotta show him the poly collection. Right, show him, dude. Oh, you done messed up now. All right, Harry, let me show you where you failed at life. Oh, he's gonna start crying, get ready to be depressed. Right, I got my poly wag, my poly whirl, my poly wrath, and my poly toad. Oh yeah, the tears are flowing. I see them. Next page, my poly toad EX is my prize possession. Oh, and I just got, you know, pages. Pages of polys. I got so many polys, you know. You'll, you'll never beat me, so I'll just read it and weep. <sighs> to tell you this, Junior, but none of your poly collection is shadowless or first edition. So? It's still worth a lot of money. Like, maybe one day I'll sell them for $10 million if someone begs me. Yeah. No, to be honest with you, Junior, your collection isn't worth anything. Well, yeah, it is. I got every single poly, like, every single poly ever. Look at all of them. No, Junior. Look, your polys have shadows around the picture, just like this Charizard. The Mewtwo is shadowless and first edition. Yours doesn't even have the first edition stamp. These are worthless. So you're saying there's polys out there that, that are first edition and shadowless? There are! Just like this Regie Steel EX that was graded by PSA, a PSA 10 Gem Mint. What? And there are polys out there that are encapsulated just like this one. What? Joseph, I gotta go find some polys that are like that because these are worthless now! What? No way, dude! They're worthless! Oh, okay, let's go to the store and try to find some PSA 10 polys! Oh, dude, let's go! All right, Joseph, let's see if they have any first edition Pokemon cards. Okay, dude. What can I help you two with today? Um, do you have any first edition Pokemon cards? Poke me man cards? Of course I do, right here. I have a Mewtwo. Ooh. And a Charizard, which is a fan favorite. Well, do you have any, like, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, Politoads? Hmm, let me think. Oh, yes, I do, right here. All of them are PSA 10 graded, first edition Pokemon cards. Whoa, whoa you actually have them? Dude, no way! Joseph, these are the cards that we need. Oh, they're right here, they're so close. I, I can almost taste them. Dude, I want to lick them so bad. Okay, how, how much are they? We want them. Thirty. Thirty dollars? I got thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollars? Uh, why are they so much? What do they even do? Well, because there's not that many on Earth. I mean, in space, yes, because NASA took a few of them into space. But uh, right here on Earth, these are the only ones. I don't have $30,000. Well, then get out of my store. Oh, oh, we'll be back. All right. I'll be playing Dungeons and Dragons. What are we going to do, Joseph? I don't know, dude. So did you find the Pokemon cards you were looking for, Junior? Yeah, and they're selling them for $30,000. Mm, sounds about right. They are really expensive. Oh. So what are you going to do now, dude? I'm going to throw away my Poly collection since it's worthless. Well, anyway, Junior, I'm just going to go sell my Pokemon cards.
I'm gonna give you time to cry because you're gonna need it. I'm out of here, dude. Why are my pollies worthless? <laughs> dude, stupid Polly, die, die, die. Hey, dude, I came to check in on you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Don't do that. Are you mad? It's worthless, Joseph. It's worthless. It may be worthless, but you've been collecting these cars all your life. But they're not worth anything, Joseph. Just like me, worthless. Listen, we may be worthless too, but you don't just give up in life. But Joseph, it's not first edition. It's not PSA 10. It's not even shadowless. Listen, buddy, listen. Well, look, we could just look um online. Maybe we could find one for cheaper. Cheaper than thirty thousand yeah, dollars. Cheaper, way cheaper. Oh, get my laptop then. You okay, can do it. I got it. I got it. Uh, all right, dude. Got the laptop. I'm on eBay. You're not gonna find any that are cheaper. Wait, wait. No way, dude. Wait, what? Oh, dude, I found a poly wrap for $20. Wait, wait, is it first edition? Yes, first edition, shadowless, poly wrap. Oh, buy it, buy it. Oh, dude, 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 I need a credit card. Where's the oh, credit card? Oh, let me grab my dad. Let me grab my dad. Hurry, hurry up, hurry Here's up. my dad's credit card. Oh, dude. Oh, okay, buy, 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 buy it. All right, dude, and bought it. It's bought? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a PSA 10 poly wrap. Woo! Okay, now we just need a PSA 10 uh, poly wag, poly roll, and poly toe. So look for those. Okay, I got you, dude. What? Ooh, they're out the door. It might be my car. Oh, I hope so. Well, they ship fast. Right? Uh, hello? Yeah, I got a package for Julia. Is it my Pokemon card? I don't know, man. I just delivered the packages. I don't know, but... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well... Joseph, Joseph, I think my card came in. Dude, what are you waiting for? Check it out. I can't wait to see my first edition PSA 10 holographic poly... Tartar? <laughs> tartar? Why is it called a tartar? Well, I don't know why it's called a tartar, Joseph. What did you buy? <laughs> Hold on, dude. Wait just a second. Oh, oh my god. Oh god. What? You're gonna laugh about this one. What? Uh, it's French. French? Yep, it's French. Like the fries? Like the fries. What? So in France, the way they say polyrath is tartar? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Those French people are weird. So they're like, wee wee, tartar. What? That's so dumb. I didn't want a tartar. I want a polyrath, Joseph. Dude, it's still a first edition. You I don't care about the first edition. I'm not going to love it. I'm not going to love a tartar. I want it to be a normal polyrath. I don't want that. <sighs> All right, Joseph, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get $30,000, and we're going to go buy the real PSA 10 polywag, polyworld, polyrath, polytoe. All right, dude, but how are we going to get $30,000? <sighs> Easy. Let's just ask Chef Pee Pee for it. Yeah, yeah, the broken chef that cooks for you on a daily basis and complains about it is gonna give you $30,000? He has a Swiss bank account, he has to. All adults have stuff like that, right? They, they store away money. Look, let's go ask Chef Pee for $30,000. He has to have it. You might be right. Bill Gates has a Swiss bank account. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to throw this away. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Not right now, Junior. I just made some coleslaw and I'm about to throw it away. Wait, why are you gonna throw it away? Because nobody eats coleslaw. It's disgusting. It's meant to be made and thrown away. Yeah, it is really gross. Anyway, can I borrow $30,000? $30,000? Junior, no! Why do you always ask for an outrageous amount of money knowing I don't have it? Well, if you would have asked for a quarter, I would have had it in my back pocket. Well, there's these Pokemon cards that I really want to buy. Uh, nobody want to hear about Pokemon cards, Junior. They're worthless. Well, they're worth $30,000, Chef PP. I doubt it. I highly doubt it, Junior. Well, then how can I raise $30,000? Maybe you should just get your friends and do a car wash or something. Car wash? I can wash some cars. You're gonna have to wash a lot of cars. Okay, Joseph, let's start a car wash. All right, Joseph, we're gonna wash cars to raise the $30,000. Wait, wash cars? Dude, you know how many cars we would have to wash to get $30,000? 10 cars at $3,000 a piece. I know, bro, that's too many. Dude, we can do it, Joseph. Come on, just believe in yourself. Come on, we can wash those cars. Oh, I guess. All right, let's go. Car wash, come get your car wash. We're trying to buy some Pokemon cards. Car, car wash. wash. Joseph, why aren't cars showing up? Dude, people don't want their cars washed by two little kids when they have automatic machines that'll wash it in like five seconds. So then what are we gonna do? <sighs> we gotta offer them something that they don't get at a normal car wash. Like what? Oh, dude, I got an idea. Car wash, get your car wash, and we'll shuck your toes. Well, ew, Joseph, you're going to be the one to do that, right? Dude, of course. My neighbor pays me $5 to do it all the time. Honestly, if you needed money for Pokemon cars, we should have went to him first. Ooh, there's a car coming. Ooh, car wash! Car wash! Car, car wash! Car, car wash! Car wash! Car wash right here. Car wash. Car, car wash. wash right here, right here. How much is it? $30,000. Yeah, $30,000. Uh, I'm good. What? what? Wait, wow. He can afford it. He drives a Lamborghini. Right, dude. I've always heard he's mean. Oh, I bet he is. Well, well, there's another car. There's another car. Uh oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. There's a car wash. Show him the sign. Show him the sign. Car wash. Car wash. Car wash. Oh, uh, you see the sign? Car see, wash. You see it? Car wash. And you'll suck my toes. Yep, we'll suck him. Yep. Oh, well, I don't need someone to suck my toes because I have a maid at the house that'll do that. Well, we, we'll, we'll wash cars, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I don't normally do this, 
but uh, I'm, in a, I'm in a rush. I have a very important business meeting and a bird had diarrhea on the roof of my car. And so, I, I guess I'll have you guys wash my car. Yeah, well, we'll wash it, we'll wash it. We, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it spotless. We'll clean it off. Now, you sure you don't want your toes sucked? No, we'll do it. I don't want my toes sucked. Oh. No, no, Joseph, we already got them. I'll just park it in the driveway, we'll wash it. We're <laughs> lost. All right, you two, you see all these little droplets all over my car? Yeah. Yeah, that's bird diarrhea. The bird had too much Taco Bell. So what I need you guys to do is wash this car spotless. And I swear to God, if there's one scratch on this car, I'm gonna lock both of you two in cages and drop you into shark infested water. You got it? We, we got it. We're gonna wash the car and we're gonna make it spotless, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, get it done. All right, Joseph, you start rinsing the car, I'm gonna clean the inside. Oh, I can do that, bro. Hey, hey, Junior, I haven't peed in like a week. Oh! <laughs> it looks like you're peeing. I know, right? Oh. I'm gonna clean the inside. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't stop peeing. What did I drink? <laughs> Maybe a lot of Capri Suns. Uh, let me clean this inside. Oh, it's dirty. Oh, let me clean over here. All right, there's a bunch of receipts and trash and a Sprite bottle. Oh, what is this? Is that a blank check? I could fill it out and, and get $30,000 and buy that Pokemon card. Joseph! Joseph! What's that, dude? We're rich! We're rich! Yeah. Uh, wait, what are you talking about, dude? Look at this, Joseph. Wait, what is that? It's a blank check. We can fill it out for the money for the Pokemon cards. Wait, wait, dude, isn't that stealing? Look how rich this guy is. He doesn't care about, like, $30,000. Dude, you're right. <laughs> We're done with your car. You deal with him. Wait, what? Well, it's all done for you, sir. You didn't even dry it. Look, look, when you're going 100 miles per hour on the interstate, it'll dry, I promise you. This is the worst car wash I've ever been to, ever. Well, you shouldn't get two kids to wash your car. I'm not paying for this. Well, well, you don't have to, because we're rich. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you're back. Yep, and we want these four Pokemon cards. Well, do you have $30,000? We have something even better. A blank check from a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it your check? Uh, uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, his dad's a billionaire. Yeah, uh, my dad, Bill Gates, he said, uh, here's a blank check, put whatever number you're on it, whatever you want, Timmy. Oh, wonderful! Well, let me get them out of the case for you. <laughs> We're actually gonna get the cards! Dude! Here you are! Joseph, they're right here, they're all mine! Dude, we got them! We got them! Uh, Ten million dollars! Uh, you enjoy that check. All right, Joseph, let's go! <laughs> Joseph, can you believe it? I got Jim Mint PSA 10 Shadowless First Edition Polywag! Polywhirl! Okay. Polyrad! Right. Polytoe! Don't do it to him! Polly gang, I completed the Polly collection. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, who's at the door? Well, whoever it is, I'm gonna tell them I got all the Pollies. Yeah, tell them they can't compare, bro. Hello, I have all the Polly. What's that? Chris Tallballs, I presume? Uh, I don't know who that is. Let me tell you a story. Earlier today, you washed my car. I had a blank check sitting in my car. I went to my business meeting, and we agreed upon a price. I went to my car to get the blank check, and guess what wasn't there? The blank check. And the bank calls me and said, Mr. Goodman? And I said, uh-huh. And they said, did you spend $10 million on Poke Me Man cards? And I said, are you having a stroke? Because you sound crazy right now. If I'm going to spend $10 million for someone to poke me, I'd like to be there. Chris Tallballs. Who's that? I don't know. I wish it was me, because if I was Chris Tallballs, I'd be $10 million richer right now. Okay, look, this what happened. I really wanted these Pokemon cards, so I took your check and I bought them with it. Okay, so you go upstairs and you give me those Pokemon Man cards right now! But, but, but I love them! I don't care! I love money! And if you're gonna spend $10 million of my money on Pokemon Man cards, you're gonna give them to me right now! Uh, uh, go! Uh, I'll get them! Who's at the door, dude? The guy we took the blank check from! Ah, what did he say? He knows we took the check from him! Dude, are we going to jail? No, he just wants the Pokemon cards back. Dude, you can't give him the Pokemon cards! These are rare! You'll never find them again! I know, I love them so much! Well, what are you gonna do, dude? <laughs> you said do, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you do, dude, your pants! <laughs> I didn't do, do my pants, dude! But no, seriously, I don't want to give up my PSA 10 Polys! I love them! Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. What? I got an idea, Joseph. What? <laughs> all right, Joseph. I put all my old polys in cases, even the bit one. And can you tell the difference? Mm, no, not really. Yeah, that's an old guy. He doesn't know Pokemon cards, so I'm going to give him my old ones that aren't the PSA 10 first editions, and he's not even going to know. Dude, you're a genius, and you get to keep the most valuable ones. I know, so I'm going to give him these, and I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, you're a genius. Hmm, I wonder if Mario's home. I can go ahead and get my house payment while I'm here.
Okay, uh, I have the Pokemon cards, right? You give me those what? Pokemon cards! No! You that... know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna put these in a blender, then I'm gonna drink it, and then I'm gonna pee it out into my gold toilet, and I'm gonna be thinking about you the whole time. Well, no, don't take my ballies, no! Sucker. All right, Joseph, I gave it to him. Did he believe it, dude? Yeah, he believed it! I completed the Polly Collection! I did it! Polly Gang! Polly Gang! Polly Gang! Polly Gang! Polly Gang! Gang! Polly Gang! Polly Gang! Polly 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 Junior! What? Uh, this Polly dude? Uh, it's, it's a PSA 9. What? 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 PSA 9? <laughs> Dang, I was picking my nose, and now the booger won't come off my finger. Ew, Jeffy, go wipe it on a napkin! But dang, no matter how much I shake my hand, the booger won't come off! Jeffy, go wipe it on a napkin! Wait, not the Ow! couch, Jeffy! Jeffy, go get a napkin! Do not wipe it on the couch, Jeffy! What if I eat it? Don't you eat it. No, Jeffy, don't you eat that booger. Ew! Ow! 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 Daddy, it tastes like chicken! Jeffy, go spit it out in the bathroom! Oh, it's disgusting, Jeffy! Ugh. That was gross. That was disgusting! <laughs> What is Jeffy doing? Jeffy? What are you doing? <laughs> Jeffy! Ow! What are you doing? What is this? Dang, this is my booger collection! What booger collection? Yeah, every time I pick my nose, I come back here and I wipe the booger on the back of the couch. That one right there is from 2016. It's four years old. Jeffy, that is disgusting. You're gonna grab a napkin and you clean up all these boogers. What well, if I just eat them? You're not gonna eat them, Jeffy. <laughs> Ow! Why do you keep hitting me? Because you're a bad boy, Jeffy! <laughs> You're a bad boy. Uh, why? You're a bad boy because you pick your nose and put your boogers all over the back of the couch. Ah! Mario, roll. Uh, Chef PB. <sighs> what do you want from me, Mario? Can you please clean these boogers off the back of the couch? Ew, no. Why would I clean that? That's disgusting. No. Well, don't you clean stuff? No, I am Chef PB, not maid PB, not servant PB, and definitely not booger cleaning PB. Well, can you please be booger cleaning PB just for right now? No. Mario? No, stupid! Uh, okay, fine! Stop messing with me! Ugh. Do it myself and, uh, later. <sighs> Mario, what's going on back there? Jeffy's been picking his nose for years and wiping it on the back of the couch. Ew! Tell him to clean it up, Mario! I did, but you know he's not going to. Sometimes I wish I had a better son. Mm -hmm. That is it! I want a divorce! I'm on the track all day chugging my butt off, and you sit on your lazy butt all day and don't even take care of Junior! <laughs> What's wrong, Jeffy? My dad's being mean and said I couldn't wipe boogers on the couch. Where else are you supposed to wipe them? Right, that's what I'm saying, Junior. If I had a kid, I'd let him wipe his boogers on the couch. Yeah, me too, Junior. <gasps> Jeffy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? That we should both have a kid? Yeah, if we have a kid, because we both think the same, it'd be the smartest kid in the world. It, it could be like an astronaut. Yeah. Uh -oh. But we're boys, we, we can't have a kid together. Hmm. What about that hairy kid? He's super smart. Maybe he can invent like an invention or something and then make us have a kid. Yeah, like, like, like a machine that makes us pregnant. Mm hmm. Okay, well, let me call Harry up. Hey, we need this couch for a second. Can y'all leave? Uh, sure. Okay. Hello, Junior. You called me? Yes, me and Jeffy want to have a baby. Well, that's physically impossible because you two have ding dongs and not keyholes. Well, that's why we want you to help. Well, I don't have a key. No, like, can't you make, like, a machine that can get, like, Jeffy or me pregnant? Junior, that's physically impossible! There's no way I could invent a machine that would get you pregnant! Well, it's a YouTube video. Anything's possible! Hmm, I suppose you're correct. I'll be right back! All right, Junior, I've done it! I've invented the impregnator! Whoa, how does it work? Well, you fill it up with super powerful energetic reproductive material. It's an acronym. And then you shoot it at whoever you want to be pregnant. So who wants to be pregnant? Well, Jeffy wants to be pregnant. Okay. All right, Junior, I just need you to spit into the top of it to fill it up. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, spit on my impregnator, Daddy! All right, so Jeffy, prepare to be pregnant! Junior, am I pregnant? I mean, you look like it. Ooh, I got hoo-hoos. Mm. You have some big cans, Jeffy. Get out of here, oh. Harry. All right, there's only one way to see if you're really pregnant. You have to take a pregnancy test. All right, Junior, go get one. All right. I'm about to lactate like a cow. All right, Jeffy, you go in the bathroom and you pee on this, and if it says pregnant, that means you're pregnant. Okay, so I stick it in my butt? What? No, you pee on it. All right, I'm gonna stick it in my butt. Uh, okay. Hey, Junior, what does pregnant mean? What? Jeffy, you're pregnant! Woo! We're gonna have a baby! Yeah, Junior, when's the 
this thing gonna come out of my butt? I think like nine months. Oh, that's a long poop, Junior. I feel like this thing could come out any minute right now. What, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, well let's go to a bathtub. When people get birth, they do it in bathtubs for some reason. Okay. Are you guys done in here yet? Wait, what's this? Pregnant? Rosalina's pregnant? Mario, are we allowed back in here yet? Uh, yeah, we are, baby. Yeah, we are. Cool. So... So what, Mario? Is there something you wanted to tell me? Like what? You know... What are you talking about, Mario? Isn't there something inside you? I mean, I haven't pooped in like two days, but I wasn't gonna tell you that. No, not that. You know, something else? I mean, I, I ate a lot of food at dinner. I could have a food baby. Ooh, that, 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 the second word. What? You're pregnant. Mario, I'm not pregnant. Well, yeah, you are. Are you saying I'm fat? No, 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 look. I found this pregnancy test, so I thought you were pregnant. Mario, that's not mine. It's not? Yes, it is. Who else could it be? Mario, did you get a girl pregnant? Wait, wait, that, well, look at me. I, I'm bald. No, it's yours. You're the only girl in the house. Mario, that's not mine. Then who else is could it be? Jeffy. It could be Jeffy. Oh, no. Jeffy's 16, but he wipes burger on the couch. He can't be the dad. Mario, we need to call him in here right now. Jeffy, get in here. What do you want, Daddy? My hormones are all out of whack. Mario, what the? Jeffy, why do you look like that? Junior got me pregnant. How, how, how did Junior get you pregnant, Jeffy? Well, his friend invented a machine, and it got me pregnant. Oh, okay. Okay, that's okay. All right, there's a simple fix to this. Um, Jeffy, come with me to the stairs. Mario, no! I'm gonna be a grandpa! No, 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 Jeffy cannot keep this baby. He's a, he's a guy. Where's the baby gonna come from, Jeffy? He's gonna come out of my butt. Okay. Wait, that's not where babies come out of? No, no, Jeffy, it's not. Okay, look, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna call a doctor and see what you're supposed to do when your son gets pregnant. Okay, let me call a doctor. Let me, let me, just, let me just call him. Hey there, you call a doctor? Hey, doctor, so you probably hear this question all the time, but... What do I do when my son's pregnant? But, uh, no, no, actually, I don't hear that all the time, but I've never heard that before. Well, my son is pregnant. How? Well, he said his friend got him pregnant with a machine or something. What, is his friend Optimus Prime? What happened? I, I don't know, but, like, 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 what are our options? Like, what do we do about this? Well, I think your options are just the normal options, I guess. Well, like, how does he have the kid? Because, you know, he has a, he, he, he has a wee-wee. I mean, I don't know. I, I'd love to find out. So when it happens, please tell me. Cause I'll oh, no, Daddy! I think I'm going into labor! Oh, he's going into labor! Oh, no, that's that's not good. Oh, okay. Hey, doctor, walk me through What do I do? Uh, uh, uh okay. Uh, do, do you see a head? Do, do I see a head? Uh, see a head? Oh, no, Daddy, I'm teabagging like in Call of Duty. Well, Jimmy, stop it. It's a serious situation. What do we do? I don't see a head. Uh, 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 oh, wait, wait, what's that, honey? Uh oh, dinner's ready? Uh oh, sorry, guys, I gotta go. Dinner's ready. Oh, no, 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 you're the doctor. I need your help. Oh, uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. I, I'm going into a tunnel. I, 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 can't, I can't hear you. Sorry. You're not going into a tunnel. I can see you. Uh, okay, okay, um, uh, Jeffy, just, just breathe. Just push, push, push. Uh, 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 but that, that is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. No, it isn't, Mario. It's cute. Uh, Dad, <gasps> His first word! I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to be a part of this at all. Jeffy, what are you going to name him? Um, I think I'm going to name him Jeffy Jr. What? Jeffy, you had the baby? I sure did, Jr. Mama! What? Me, Mama? Wait, didn't Jeffy get birth to you? Yeah, why are you calling him Mama? I'm your mommy. Dad, Mama! Oh, okay, okay, I don't want any more cry. <laughs> You boys made a commitment, now you have to take care of it. Oh, Jeffy, Jeffy Jr., Jeffy Jr., Jeffy Jr., look, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> shut up, shut up! Oh, oh, Jeffy, oh, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna take care of this? Um, well, I'm gonna be the daddy. And since I'm the daddy, I still gotta go to school, because I gotta provide for this family. Okay, so you're gonna go to school tomorrow, and I'll just be a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> All um, right, Junior. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to bed, because I gotta get up early for school tomorrow. So okay. I'll see you later. Mama! Shut up. Oh, look, 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 we're going to, uh, we're going to go uh, rock in the crib real quick. Mama! All right, class, since you all are so stupid, we're going back to basic math. So does anyone know what one plus one equals? Um, one plus one equals three. No, how the f how? How 
How did your stupid brain get three? One plus one, how you get three? Because the two ones did it, and then they had the baby, and then that equals three people. No, one plus one did not do it. They numbers, how they gonna do it? They ain't got PPs and Jitees. One plus one is two. No, the answer is three. Because when two people do it, and they have a baby, that's three people. Explain to me how there's two. Unless they did it with protection, but you didn't tell me that. So the answer is two. I don't want to hear it. One plus one equals two. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hello? Jimmy! Jimmy Jr. won't stop crying and breaking stuff. Can you please come home and help? Well, can't you handle it? Jimmy, I am a stay-at-home mom. I need the dad's help. Well, I'm trying to learn basic math right now, Junior. I'm trying to provide for this family. Oh, can you please come home, please? I'll see what I can do, Junior. Jeffy? Jeffy, are you using the phone in class? Um, I'm on the phone right now. My kid needs me at home. Jeffy, there is no way that you have a kid. No one gonna want to park with you. <laughs> you telling me someone gonna park with you? <laughs> no way. Jeffy, just come on, hurry. All right, I'm on my way, Junior. All right, I'll go ahead and give you an F for the semester, Jeffy. Wait! Shut up, shut up. What's wrong, Junior? He just won't stop crying. Why, have you tried feeding him? What, it eats? Yeah. Well, uh, okay, um, look, bring him downstairs, and I'm going to see if Chef Pee can make him something to eat. All right, Junior. Come on, Jeffy, Junior. <laughs> Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, what do you want, Junior? Can you make some baby food? Dang, how many times are you going to eat today, Junior? <laughs> that was a good one, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, you roasting them. <laughs> you, you, you get it? Because I'm, I'm calling you a baby. Well, no, it's not for me. It's for my son. Uh, sure. You, Junior, you don't have a son. You're the baby, so I'm going to make you some baby food. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, Chef Pee Junior. Here's your baby food. Uh, I'm not even going to ask. All right, Jeffy Jr., eat your food. Yeah! Well, he's definitely mine, kid. Oh, well, how about some Chick-fil-A mac and cheese? Yay! He's definitely my kid. I'm so glad Jeffy Jr. ate his dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Get out! You destroyed my golden Thomas! <gasps> and you destroyed my campaign! Anymore. Jeffy, Jeffy, did you go to timeout? Who, <laughs> Jeffy? I don't want to have him anymore. I don't want him anymore either, Junior. You destroyed my Golden Thomas. It was so rare. He destroyed my favorite cat piano. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make some phone calls and see if someone will adopt him from us. Okay, Junior, <laughs> Jeffy, Junior, where did you go? You're in good spending right now. Jeffy, Junior, where are you? <laughs> All right, Jeffy, there's someone at the door here to get Jeffy Jr. But, but we're picking boogers and putting them on the cow. Dad, Dad. So, so you actually want to keep him? Um, yeah. He broke my Golden Thomas and your cat piano. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. All right, Jeffy Jr., there's someone at the door for you. Mama? Uh, hello? Hi, I'm here to uh, pick up kid who are really good at making an iPad. Um, he's right here. It's our son. Oh, he's a boy. I hit a jackpot. Ding, 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 ding. Well... Bye, Jeffy Jr. It's your new home. Mama. Bye. Hi, Dad. Uh, is he going to have a good life? Oh, he's going to be a super smart. He a freak of nature. He's going to grow up and fight Godzilla. <laughs> he even rip like Godzilla. But he's going to have good life. He's going to be super smart. So come on. Mama. Bye. Well, we got rid of our son. Yeah. Remember when he wiped boogers on the couch? Remember when he ate his mac and cheese? Remember when he threw his green beans and shattered the plate? Did we make a mistake, Jeffy? No! no. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder what's taking Joseph so long to come over. Dude, dude, dude! I'm sorry I'm late, but you'll never believe what happened. What happened? Dude, I'm skating over to your house, and out of nowhere, I hear screams. So I'm looking around, and then I look up. It's a dude skydiving, and he's struggling with his parachute. And I'm like, don't open. Please don't open. And then right in front of me, he splashed like a pancake, and his brain pops out. <laughs> Did you catch his brain? Did I catch his brain? <laughs> like bees in a Mardi Gras parade. Yeah, you got the brain. Yeah, dude. Now let's play brain catch. Oh, I love brain catch. <laughs> Come on, dude. Dude, go long. I'm Tom. I can't wait to make my famous baked potatoes. Oh, is that a brain? 
Hey, Chef Pee, Pee have you seen a brain in here? It's right there! What do you mean? What, where did you get a brain from? Oh, my girlfriend told me she was gonna give me some brain, and she gave it to me literally. What? Do you keep your stupid brains out of my kitchen? Get it out! <sighs> All right, Joseph, that was a bad throw. You were like Tom Brady on the Buccaneers, overthrowing everyone. Yeah, you're right. All right, you go along this time. I'm going to throw it. Okay, dude. <laughs> it, yeah. I got it, dude. Now that the potatoes are in the oven, just got to let them bake. <laughs> dude, where did the brain go? Oh, that was a sucky throw, Junior. Well, I'm sorry I'm not a professional brain thrower, Joseph. <gasps> Wait, what, what's Chef Pee, Pee cooking? Mmm, it smells like potatoes. Let's see what he's cooking. Okay. <sighs> What? Dude, there's the brain! What? Why is Chef Pee trying to cook a Mr. Potato Head? I don't know, dude. He always makes weird, disgusting stuff. Wait, wait, Joseph, you know what I always wanted to do? What, dude? I've always wanted to throw a Mr. Potato Head into a ceiling fan and see how many pieces come off of him. Dude, me too! But oh. I never had a chance to do it! Me either! Let's do it! Okay, dude! All right, Mr. Potato Head, prepare to go into the Blades of Doom. Yeah, adios, Mr. Potato Head. Bye-bye, Mr. Potato Head. Eh! Shattered. That was it. Dude, look. Mr. Potato Head lost all his pieces. I wonder where they went. Oh, dude, it's probably scattered all around the house. You lived a good life, Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, <laughs> rest in pieces, Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. Speaking of all the excitement, let's go see if Chef Pee-Pee's done with dinner. Oh, dude, I am hungry. Chef Pee-Pee, we're hungry. Yeah, and not for Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, we don't want to eat toys, Chef Pee-Pee. Chef Pee-Pee? Maybe he quit. I wish. Um, Let's see if he was cooking anything else in here. Oh, dude, it's that guy's brain. Maybe we could eat the brain and get some knowledge. I don't want to eat brains. I don't feel like being a zombie today. Mm, I guess so. Uh, oh, I know. Chef Pee, Pee doesn't like it when I threaten him with stupid stuff. Chef Pee, Pee if you don't come out right now, we're going to eat that Mr. Potato Head toy. Okay, I guess you don't care if I eat a Mr. Potato Head toy. Or we break stuff. All right, Joseph, I'm a man of my word. We have to eat this Mr. Potato Head since Chef Pee's ignoring us. I don't know, dude. It's kind of hard and plasticky. Wait, wait, it's a note inside. What, a note? Yeah. Well, let's read it. <laughs> All right, Joseph, let's read this letter. What, it looks like it's from Chef Pee-Pee. Oh, dude, I do a perfect Chef Pee-Pee impression. Let me read it. You stupid brats turned me into a Mr. Potato Head. Turn me back right now. What, Chef Pee-Pee was Mr. Potato Head? I guess so. Well, he did have a chef hat on. And, and he was cooking potatoes. <laughs> What if he accidentally turned himself into a Mr. Potato Head? Dude, how do we turn him back? I don't know. Let me call a doctor. Hey there, you call a doctor? Uh, yes, doctor. My friend was baking potatoes, and he turned himself into Mr. Potato Head. Oh, oh man, I've seen this one before. Wait, you have? Oh, yeah, it's actually way more common than you think. When you're baking potatoes and you get trapped in the oven, you can actually turn into Mr. Potato Head. You can? Oh, no, that means Chef Pee Mr. Potato Head. What are we going to do? Calm, calm down, calm down. It's fine. It's an easy fix. All you got to do is put him in the freezer. That'll unbake him, and he'll turn back into a person. Wait, all we have to do is put him in the freezer? We, we can do that. That's easy. Well, hey, see, the important thing is that you have all the pieces of Mr. Potato Head before you put him in the freezer. If he turns back into a person, you don't have all the pieces, then whatever pieces are missing on Mr. Potato Head are going to be missing on your friend. Whatever pieces are missing on Mr. Potato Head will be missing on Chef Pee Pee? Well, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have his eyes. He doesn't have his nose. He doesn't have his mouth. He doesn't have his arms. Well, then you better go find those pieces. Your friend's going to be a vegetable. <laughs> I guess he already kind of is a vegetable. <laughs> well, I mean, well, we lost all the pieces. We threw him into a, a ceiling fan. Oh, sick. I know, the pieces exploded everywhere. Oh, Joseph, we have to go find those pieces. I mean, we have, we have a while, right? Well, no, actually, see, that's the important thing. See, you only have about an hour to find those pieces, or he's going to be stuck like that forever. Uh, only an hour? Why? Well, because then he won't be a hot potato. He'll be cold. Oh, all right, Joseph, let's go find those pieces. Oh, let's do it. All right, Joseph, we have to find every single piece, because whatever piece is missing on Mr. Potato Head will be missing on Chef Pee, -Pee and I don't want to deform Chef Pee, Pee. Oh, definitely, bro. What? Ooh, I found his butt. Oh, thank God you found his butt. Chef Pee, -Pee has the nicest butt. Oh, yeah, the nicest. Dude, if I wasn't in the girls, I'd... <laughs> I'd just take a chunk out of it. Smack it. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to put this in a very safe place, because we don't want to lose his butt. So oh, definitely. You go that way looking for pieces, I'll go this way looking for pieces. Okay. Okay, where could those pieces be? I don't want to miss it's a single piece. No. No. Oh, come on. Oh, Joseph, I found one of the ears. Me too, dude. I found one in the toilet. All right, so he found both his ears and his butt. Yeah, so he can hear himself fart. Ah! So now we have to find his mouth next so he can hear all the crap that comes out of it. <laughs> dude, we are on the roll. All right, so let's go look for more pieces. Okay. Hey, Joseph, did you find any pieces in that couch? No, I don't see any, dude. Oh, this is going to take forever, and we don't have that much time. Hey, Joseph, does, does it ever feel like you're being watched? Yeah, all the time. It's usually my uncle, though. But now he has to stay 100 feet away. But it doesn't stop him from using binoculars. <laughs> Man, they make binoculars real good these days. 
Wait, <gasps> Joseph, look! Do you see those eyes? Yeah, I see them. Mr. Potato has eyes! Joseph, how are we gonna get up there? Dude, I have wings! I believe I can fly! I believe I could grab the eyes! Junior, they're coming down! Okay! Alright, Joseph, we got his eyes. Now we just need his nose and his mouth, and I think that's it. Okay, dude. Hey, Joseph. Yeah? I see the mouth. It's on the sleeping cat. Dude, get it, but don't wake up the cat. I'm not gonna wake up. Hold on, it's awake! <laughs> there, that looks like Chef Pee Pee. Yeah, especially with those big ears. Yeah, Chef Pee Pee has the hugest ears. <laughs> what are we missing? Uh, looks like we need the nose and the arms, dude. Yeah, and the mustache. Yeah, oh, don't forget the chef hat. He can buy another one. But dude, I guess so. And we don't have to find the legs, he never had legs to begin with. <laughs> That's true. All right, let's go look for the nose and the arms. <laughs> Joseph, look! I found the nose! That means the mustache can't be too far off! Yeah, because the mustache is attached to the nose. Hey, guys! <laughs> Don't you like my new mustache? Isn't it cool? Toad! We need that mustache! No way! I always wanted a mustache! Now people can take me seriously! You understand, we need to save Chef Pee-Pee's life, and we need that mustache, Toad! Aww, I, I kind of like this mustache, though. Well, look, we'll do anything for that mustache. What can we do for that mustache? Hmm. Maybe if you make a fire rap song, you could probably have it back. But I doubt you could do it. <laughs> Joseph, we have to go make a rap song. Come on. Oh, let's do it. Hey, Joseph. What's up, bro? He doesn't want to give us that mustache back. Ooh, that's a problem. That's a problem. I know. I think I need to tell him how bad we need that mustache. Yeah, he got to give it up. All right, let me spit something to him. Okay, we need that mustache really bad. Okay. Chef Pee Pee is Mr. Potato Head. Potato if we head. don't get it back, then he'll be dead. dead. We need that mustache. You heard what we said. What I say? We need that mustache really bad. Please give it back. We want Chef Pee Pee back. We need that mustache real. My dad, if you don't give it back, I'm a okay. If you don't give it back, put you in the face. What's my fish taste like? I'll give you a taste. I'll end your life, make it seem like a waste. I don't have any new lines, let's copy and paste. Hey, need that mustache really bad? Please give it back. We want Sheppy B back. Yeah, we want him back. Yeah, we want him. What? What? Yeah, we want him back. Uh, yeah, we want him. Give him up. Yeah, we want him back. Yeah, we want him. Yeah, we need him. Huh? Yeah, we want him back. Yeah, we. What? Whoa! I can't lie. That was fire. That was fire. Oh, here you go, guys. You deserve the mustache. We have the mustache back. Oh, this is so cool. Oh yeah, I found this hat too, but it didn't fit. Okay, so we have his hat, his nose, his mustache. What are we missing, Joseph? Uh, his arms, dude. Okay, we have to go find his arms. What? But we only have like a minute left though, Joseph! Ah, oh, screw his arms! Yeah, go! He can get robotic ones! We can put them in the freezer! Oh, yeah! Uh, hurry, Joseph! Dude, it's happy! Uh, yeah! Alright, we'll see you soon, Chef PB. Alright, close it! Uh, Alright, you just gonna wait a few minutes, okay? Okay. Alright, Joseph, I think he's ready. Uh, Chef PB? <gasps> Julia, what happened to me? Chef PB, you're back! We accidentally turned you into Mr. Potato Head. But I don't have any arms! Oh, well, we couldn't find your arms, you know? We were looking all over the house and we just couldn't find them. Hey, dude, look! It's down there! Uh, never mind, Chef Pee Pee! We found your arms! What am I gonna do with Mr. Potato Head arms? Mm. <laughs> How's it going, Chef Pee Pee? I hate you, Junior! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! You should be more grateful. Like, you know T-Rex has had short arms like that, too. I'm gonna kill you, Junior! Ah! We need that mustache really bad, okay. Chef Pee 